Pinecons for all the latest boxing information. Oh. Right, so as most of you guys will be aware by now, Billy Joe Saunders failed a PED test via VADA. And of course, this has put his whole WBO world title defence at middleweight against Images Andrade in Boston on October the 20th on a matchroom boxing USA card as the main headliner in jeopardy. But there has been a little bit of news since I first broke this to you all. In fact, there's been a couple of things actually. And the first one is that the British Boxing Board of Control via UCAD as well, which is the UK anti-doping agency, have said that the PED that was found in his system or the um, supplement or whatever it, um, it was, is okay in the UK. And I've got a statement right here from the British Boxing Board of Control General Secretary, Robert Smith, where he told Sports Mail, according to our rules and those of UK anti-doping, he has not committed a breach. It's down to Massachusetts over what happens next. So that is a statement from them. And there's this supplement, this PED, whatever it was, this ingredient um, called oxyphylone. No, I butchered that, I'll try it again. Oxylofrin has been apparently found in a nasal spray. And that's what Billy Joe Saunders is saying. It's coming from a nasal spray. Now, of course, I'll put that article in the description for you guys to have a little look at as well. So it's interesting. I mean, a nasal spray, okay, fine. Um, but of course, he, he really needs to look on the ingredients before you put this kind of stuff up your nose. Okay, so, I mean, that'll be the first thing. So he's definitely at fault for not looking at it. But of course, he does have nutritionists and those looking after his well-being. And if they gave it to him and said it's okay, he's going to believe them. So maybe there's that bit to it as well. But also, it's a case of it's okay in the UK. So how come it's okay in the UK, but it's not okay in what they're saying, Massachusetts? It's a bit of an odd one. Um, I'm guessing the supplements of peds are totally different now for me i always assumed that ucad and vada worked hand in hand as such so whatever's on the ban list for vada will also be banned on ucad but clearly not so either way um the british boxing border control ucad will be taking no action against him so he's not going to have his license taken away from him to fight in the uk and according to their statement waiting on massachusetts so ultimately we have to wait and find out will he be stripped of his wbo title will he be out of the demetrius andrade fight or will it all go ahead but of course with him saying that it's a nasal spray with this ingredient in there as i said he should have really checked the ingredients or whoever gave it to him his team checked it as well but maybe maybe i mean if it can be proved then why not i mean you do have to deem people innocent until pr proven guilty but unfortunately with uh, vada they proclaim you guilty before you're innocent that's just pretty, pretty much how it works i suppose and you know what it's fair enough i mean drug cheats should be out of the game now billy joe has been very very vocal about cheats should we call them in boxing most notably sal canelo alvarez and he went in one on canelo so that's why I said in my original video, it didn't sit well with me that Billy Joe would do something intentionally. Not at all. Listen, I'm a fanboy of Billy Joe Saunders. Um, I love how he fights and all that kind of thing. I don't agree with a lot of the things that he does outside the ring. Not many people do. But inside the ring, he's a class, class fighter. And he just doesn't come across as a kind of person that would intentionally do something. Now, it's just my opinion. That doesn't mean I know Billy Joe Saunders to say you know what, he would never do something like that. We don't know. Of course, people are putting down to his transformation ever since he signed up with Dominic Ingle at Team Ingle Gym that he went from this body to a muscle body where he was proud of his body. Has this had something to do with it? Personally, I think no. Um, Dominic Ingle is a strict, strict trainer. And again, I know people have been pointing out about the fact with uh, Kid Galahad and what have you. Listen, I'm not saying he hasn't done anything. But I'm not saying he has. Um, if it's found to be in a nasal spray, I suppose that's pretty much what it is. But is it a likely story? Maybe. Again, I don't know. I mean, I can't pass judgment on him. I'm going to wait and see what the WBO do, what happens in Massachusetts, and all that kind of thing. So for now, Billy Joe Saunders is saying that the supplement that 
was found in his system is from a nasal spray. We'll have to wait and see what happens with it all. But anyway, so that's the latest news for now. You drop your thoughts below about it all. Click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.